Oh, there's no doubt. I, I, I'm certainly pleased with the effort. Um, I think uh, the first half was a bit of execution, maybe a couple of silly free kicks cost us. Um, we didn't you know, you know. We know that they're a very uncontested marking side because they've got elite kicking. So it's probably the best kicking team in the competition, and uh, we know that's what they want to do. Um, and I thought the first half we probably didn't follow instructions enough, and as I said, a couple of mistakes, uh, a couple of silly free kicks. Uh, but I thought the second half was extremely, pl extremely pleasing. We could have, could have. Um, you'd hate to think it again, but you know, like we did last week, drop away. But I thought the endeavour, the effort was good. Uh, we won the second half, but. Um, obviously, we know we've got a long way to go. Uh, we haven't turned it around, but at least the effort was there. Um, oh, and, I mean, they've got super talent on their side, um, and and they've got a, extremely good uh, skills. So, but I thought from that angle, um, after half time was was okay. For a team that's normally fairly prolific scoring, no, we haven't. No, that's uh, that's a fair point. Um, well, I think oh, it's a combination. You can read it. I mean, we're not moving the ball quick enough. We're making some skill errors. Um, uh, forward line, except for Barry's very young. Um, so there's a whole range of things. But no, no, we just got to keep working at it. Today was all about really getting the baseline, getting our effort, and and the competing and um, things like that right. Uh, I thought we tackled well. You know, we're still cracking in there in the last three or four minutes. So. so from that aspect, once you've got that right, then, then you can start building in other areas. What about Harry Hall? Was he today? No, he, he, I don't know if you saw him land. Might have been the, I guess which quarter, my first or second. Late in the first, was it? And he landed the mark near the interchange and he just jarred his ankle again. So, uh, you know, we kept going with him. I thought he was a bit rusty, obviously. He got his hands to a few. Um, but then, you no, know, we just thought it was best for his sake, at least to, um, actually sub him off and I think we probably, even though he's missed three or four weeks, we probably need to get some really continuity into him as far as uh, hopefully he can train a week and play, but if he can't train I think we've got to get that continuity for his own sake um, so he can have his um, have his touch and, and actually be confident with it. The best catch of footy came with him off the ground though, Robert, didn't it? That's what he actually was a dangerous? Yeah, 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 I don't know whether that was any correlation as such, but um, yeah we started to Used the ball a bit better. I thought Tommy Williams gave us something up forward. I think uh, um, I think that was a plus out of the day. Um, I think young Christian Howard showed a bit in uh, his first game. Um, so I was thinking that's and there's a couple of positives out of it. One and five since the buy. I mean, yeah. The buy's no good, yes. Bruce. Yes, <laughs> we shouldn't have a buy again. I don't think. Perhaps we have another buy. We might be able to turn that around and make it five and one. Well, Harry, you know, you've been involved in this club for a long time. Yeah. Uh, you've been involved in the club for a long time. Yeah. Uh, you've been involved in the club for a long time. Uh, well, I think it's uh, I think it's reasonably serious that you now the form we're in. There's no doubt about that. Um, uh, you know, there's a couple of couple of competitive losses, but they're still losses. Um, results have gone our way a bit at the weekend. We're you now we're still only you know, I think still only two games out of the out of the eight. So still a long way to go. But uh, and from our point of view, we haven't given up hope. But it's just next week, and you now we've got the top team next week. So it's always a tough one. And a six-day break down there. So. But if we get the effort, that's if we can get continuity and consistency with our effort, um, then we can start building for other things. Just on, just on, the, on the, the great expectations at the start of the year, you know, all the good refining appearances, short term you stopped the rock that happened last weekend. Do you still have those great expectations longer term for the season? Uh, no, I'm just worrying about getting the win, mate. mate. I've said that week in, week out. So expectations were as much, you know, they were internal expectations, and, and but certainly external. But uh, it's, it's a tough competition, and we're not playing well at the moment. So that's reality, and, and we've got to deal in reality rather than deal in hope and pipe dreams and history and whatever you want to talk about. So mm -hmm. this is where we're at, and now we've got to turn it around. What were your expectations of Brian Harris for the day? Well, I didn't, th I didn't think Brian Harris would play. Yeah, but, <laughs> um, yeah about what he. Did I think Ruff had only kicked one or two on him? Um, he, he was very rusty. Um, you know, Mark top forward and fumbled a little bit here and there. I was actually pleased with his work rate. Um, he, he seems to have a permanent limp. I suppose you look at him and you say, well, he's not fit, but that's his natural gait that he's he's developed because of his knee. Um, I thought uh, in the second half he really pushed up and he, as a defender, and manned up really well and. Um, so I thought his work rate was there, and I think, I think the thing he's such a quality player. We just got to keep playing him, and he's right to play as long as he's right to play mentally. Um, 
and obviously recovers from the game. But I, I thought there were some good signs. No, he, no, he struggled a bit, but um, I, I thought his effort was there, and I think he'll turn that around pretty quickly. Three days are over for the time being. Sorry again. Days of Williams down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rocket, how do you go for 166 contested marks in the game? Like you're trying to play man on man most of the time. Yeah. Well, you have a look at Hawthorne. Hawthorne are averaging up until today 130. So they do it every week. So um, that's their game. That's they've got elite kicking skills and they and they develop. You watch their games. From they they go kick it to a, a single player and they'll lead quickly. And as I said, I was disappointed the first half because I thought it only took one or two players to drop off and not man up which allow them to get out, which uh, we spoke about it all week, we are given the video and trained it, and so that's a frustrating thing as the coach's instructions, which are reasonably basic. Um, I thought after half time we forced them, forced them into a bit more error. I thought, uh, I thought we'd, you know, we did that a lot better. So, but Hawthorne are going to get you know, 166 too many, uh, but they're going to get 130 every week, because that's the way they play. Yeah, he, he was okay. I didn't think it was bad, but he, he probably, I thought he, I thought he tried hard. Uh, probably didn't play as well as he has um, in previous years, but at least the effort was there. Is he still sort of, you know, in the cup of selections against the other side? Oh, I'm not about that, mate. It's too early. The game's still raw, Sam. <laughs> you um, talk about Paul coming down and maybe jarring that ankle again. Are you confident in that? Is it too early to say whether it will be right for next week? Um, the early prognosis is that he should be OK, but the point of making him say he's right to play, but he can't train until Thursday or Friday, perhaps we're not doing the right thing by him. Perhaps he's a bit rusty, so perhaps he'll need one, two, three weeks of consistent training. And now if he can train Tuesday and he can, he can train a week, well, that's fine, he'll play. So there's not a... It's, I don't think it'll be an ankle issue as per se. I think it's more about getting him out on the track consistently. I think it's been a pleasing thing, even though last week was extremely poor. We had our cleansing of the soul session Tuesday and, and the players are upbeat. So I, I think it, it's really generated from the coach and um, you know, I was reasonably positive with them after game because you've got to keep them got to keep them up upbeat. I think morale's been been you no know, it, it's actually been pretty good. Um, but we've just got to keep turning around, we've just got to keep working hard. And that's that's probably been the message. And uh, if they're working hard, well, you know, you've got to give them a, a pat on the back as such. But there's still, obviously football-wise, there's still a lot of areas we've got to work on.